Okay, an invasion video like the Chinese live streamer seller takeover. Now, invasion is one of my favorite like YouTube channels out there. I'm always excited to do these wild trends. We're kind of doing our little own kind of thing called abnormal trends from times that we'll start pushing out soon. But yeah, we I, I've seen these live streamers, these Chinese live streamer a lot, and their method works. Their method really, really works. And I'm excited to take a look at it and listen to him yap about it. Before we get into it, though, if you could take a second to like this video, I'll sub to the channel. I highly appreciate it. If you want to tag along and join us live, you're free to come by my Twitch channel on twitch.tv slash Adley. I appreciate you watching. Now, let's get into it. Morning. Welcome back. Good morning. So, live streaming, eh? I love live streaming. The fun activity that lets any average Joe broadcast themselves online. Like, like a new me! Like season of Big Brother that no one asked for. Since anyone can pick up a camera and set up an internet connection nowadays, the sky's the limit within this entertainment medium. Gaming, art, chatting with your audience, streaming days where you walk around outside and do outside things. Not to worry though if you like to stay inside, you can still do outdoor things within the comfort of your own home. I never thought I'd see someone set off a gallon of fireworks inside a fake house that looks exactly Yo, like what a up, real boys? house. Yo what up boys? Welcome Raiders. This is probably what the Damn. inside of my brain looks like when I have a hundred things I need to do in one hour. You even True. have popular celebrities hosting their own live streams all by- Bro, you know what I love is that uh, whenever you see a chat room like this, uh, I love that I love the boomers later asking like, damn, how do you even read this chat? <laughs> Do in one hour. Even Bro, I can't even read a single word. <laughs> have popular celebrities hosting their own live streams all by themselves. I need the Max Win. Okay, here's oh, a blast no. Is from that the Drake? Past for anyone in the old geriatric millennial club. We should get jackets. Twitch wasn't even the original name for the most popular. Yeah, keep your kids away from me, chat. Platform up today. It used to have a regular get human that, name, get just your like kid the rest out. of us. Justin, mm. like a dog named Daniel or a cat named Lauren who would definitely eat me if I died. The original Justin, Justin TV them. was a single- I remember this. I was there back in the 10,000 years ago. I was there in Justin channel, TV days. A guy named Justin Great who time. wore a webcam attached to a baseball cap and streamed online via a laptop backpack system. Big. You know, when live streaming was basically a single celled organism with the most basic of functions. Mr. TV then made $970 million by selling his live video platform Twitch to Amazon, which has now become a household name for millennials and Gen Z. When you he were still playing really League as Yasuo, man, Yasuo didn't exist, but I remember season one in League of Legends. I used to play Evelyn. And then you could stack Sunfire Capes. And Sunfire Cape does like uh, magic damage in an radius around you. And Evelyn could go invisible for 24 seven. So I had, could stack them and do like 400 damage every second and people could not see me. It was great. A great first impression with his $5, a camera, and a dream. Just like in real life, where looks and scent play a big part when meeting new people. You know that popular saying that everyone totally says? The fragrance you're wearing will greet someone before you can even say hi. Plus, our sense of smell and memory are like this. I like wearing new scents whenever I go somewhere well, that's new. that's a long time ago. Because again makes my brain instantly start hallucinating about the mm. fun memories I made during my trip. Using <laughs> fragrance is a great way to show off the personality you want to present to the world. We all have at least two to three different personas for family and different social groups. These are Yo. the fragrances I got to try from Scentbird. When I'm feeling like a chill day outside, hang out with friends, Is I'll this wear Gucci's ad? Guilty, which has I a didn't... fresh light scent because of the lemon and lavender. Usually my go-tos for ingredients I like to wear daily. And switching it up with Burberry for men in the evenings, this one has a stronger projection, but it's still- Bro, I didn't even realize this was an ad. It was just like yapping. Key with peach lime. It was just yapping. <laughs> this one by Yellowstone reminds me of family events at night when a freshly showered dad walked in with cologne he just spritzed on. Someone it's in just a different the way age bracket speaks. or family situation would like this. It this so one well. by Curatrix isn't something I would gravitate towards because I'm not usually into sweet and spicy scents. This one's called Anti-Hero. I gave it a try and it made me realize that He's I would rather smell with the ads. I gotta learn else. from him. When Take finding notes. your signature scent, chances are the first one you try I don't even know what he's selling. A perfume? More often perfume? than not, it's a continuous process of trial and error. You know, when you realize, oh, this smell I liked in the beginning is mm. actually giving me a headache. That's why Ooh. Scent Bird makes this part really easy. Oh, yeah, you get to try out the fragrances in a cost Bro, that is a way. small $8 ball for, for perfume. Fragrance, There's no way I'm buying that. That's like nothing, man. That's like three days. On a full or travel size, which is usually more expensive. Scent Bird is a great option for beginners. Going to an actual store with salespeople and an overwhelming amount of options can be intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. It is actually very exhausting to look for a perfume. Like if you go through a lot because you're sniffing it. You're sniffing a lot of like strong fragrance. 
It is it's rough. so convenient because it all gets shipped right to your door. These magnetic cases protect the generously sized vials filled with your fragrance of the month that you can quickly toss in your purse or bag when you're out and about. Damn. They also personalize Look, handy. selections based you on your taste. Quick... Just tell them Oof. what you're into. If you're ready to change up your scent wardrobe, scan the QR code or use my code Invasion 55 off or the link below to get 55% big, 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 big. off scent burn and get your product for half the I'm price at just $8. Okay, so I am never wearing these glasses again on camera because they gave me the worst case of anime protagonist glare. So, we've definitely I come a long way from a single janky camera, I think a you single look janky good, chat man. box, and Wi-Fi connections Smile. only running on prayers. But you know how there's always a civilization way more advanced than the one you're currently yeah. living in? Let's all get on a Boeing plane to China and hope that it doesn't start separating mid-air like a tra- I think China has taken it to the next- I think China, when it comes to live streaming, they are they're doing some crazy stuff over there they're do uh, live streaming are the best spot to sell stuff it's crazy how good they are at selling things like you look at west right you know when people people are talking about this live streamer when they do sponsorship stream they're calling them sellouts yada yada, yada. china china like chinese streamers go live and sell bundles for video games and that's the main focus on their stream all the time. They're selling bundles. They're selling clothes. They're showing clothes for like one second and then throwing it away and showing another piece of clothes. Like they are selling things like crazy. That's former. <laughs> and they love it. I am just kidding. Please don't hurt me. TikTok has cemented its position in the top I five love China. social medias in the world, which is pretty impressive considering it's less than a decade old. They better watch out for doctors with handlebar mustaches and sunglasses who minored in minors. Mm. I'd also like to give TikTok another award for the top app for wasting too, people's man. time. Me too, man. We, we love China. Made over. You've made enemies with a bunch of US senators. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? I love this interview. No, not the interview. I remember this thing. Dude. Everybody in Congress asking him questions were all so stupid. Like, I'm not even American, but I felt embarrassed. And like, I talked to my Amer all my American friends. They were all like, damn, I, I feel so bad listening. That I feel so bad that these are our congressmen. Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. But... <laughs> Before the birth of this shore from Concord juggernaut, <laughs> Duolingo so first dumb, debuted man. in September 2016 in China, a year before ByteDance introduced TikTok to overseas markets. And let me tell you something about Duolingo. It's like looking at what we could have had if we used 100% of our brain, instead mm. of wasting valuable resources trying to ban a dancing app every year. So if Doyen is the original brand name version of the app, TikTok is the western ass great value version with no time restrictions and giant heaping servings of serotonin brain rot. No wonder it's considered a place for young people. Their main demographic is 10 to 19 year olds. Bro, this is pissing me off looking at this guy. Like, what the fuck is this? It is 10 to 19 year olds. I remember seeing my friend's little niece Hi, how you TikTok. Do. Hi. Her algorithm was whack. Vine was it better. Was I liked Vine a lot, but I liked TikTok a lot too. Because the thing is that Vine was just like people dancing and doing stupid stuff outside. I go on TikTok and I find like, I don't even know what I'm browsing at this point. Like from one moment, I see somebody, uh, somebody doing a prank. The next moment, I'm seeing some devilish Satan cult uh, animation that are completely making me hypnotized. I don't even know what's going on. Like, most of the time on TikTok, the, my algorithm can show me everything that exists in the entire world. And I absolutely love it. The Vine was fun for, like, real content that wasn't, like, animations or any weird stuff that was just, like, pranks or dances or whatever it was way better lovecrafty and coco melon content it was actually quite unsettling ah! i had charlie the unicorn they have whatever this is la leyenda de la puchaina thank god en el bosque de if you don't need your greens this thing will follow you Caneculo. the endless screen time that's available 24 that's one way to give nightmares to children development like we're going from being normal to chronically online at the age of five Douyin, which is based in china oh, caters to a chinese audience who would have thought one of the biggest differences damn, is what that Douyin has limits on how long young people can be on the app and what type of content they can see. The version that's served to Chinese consumers called Douyin is very different from the one available in the West. In their version of TikTok, if you're under 14 years old, they show you science experiments you can do at home, museum exhibits, 
patriotism videos Ooh. and educational videos. Patriotism and videos. They also limit it to only 40 minutes per day. Now, they don't ship that version of TikTok to the rest of the world. Would have been nice if TikTok had that. A six year old dabbed me up recently and I shook their hand. Wait, people still dab? I didn't know people still dabbed. I Ugh. thought they stopped. The version served to the Hi. West has kids hooked for hours at a time. The impact Harris wow. says is predictable. There's a survey of preteens in the U.S. and China asking what is the most aspirational career that you want to have. And the U.S., the number one was influencer. Social media influencer. And in and China, China is also astronaut or do and doctor, right? The number one was astronaut. There's yeah, I thought so. There's definitely a trend of influencer finally being recognized as a legitimate career by the Everybody want to be a, a gesture on the internet in the West. Everybody want to be a little bit of a... Uh, a little clown in a monkey suit just ma yapping and making stuff up. Then China, they kind of want to develop themselves and get a get a different kind of degree. Public. And That's not to crazy. say that China doesn't have its own. I group. don't understand this. Like I've seen this like this stuff. I don't understand mukbang. Like this is nasty as hell for me. Of brain rot for adults. It is yeah. very interesting to see the differences oh between kids and how they develop based on the content they're watching. The content for these Doyen kids is already so advanced. Uh, and then there's the live it. streaming I use portion every for day, anyone man, older than I like TikTok. Hisoka's ideal type. I like it way better than shorts on YouTube. What is this? Ew. Basically anyone that's not a kid. Let me tell you, when I first dipped my toes into this new platform- That's crazy. The dual phone setup. Damn, like this guy. Bro, this guy is triple wielding. He has three phones. Holy gaming. Or it felt like I was on another planet with the same interface, but everything was slightly what different the? in a better way. I didn't fully understand the complex nuances of I'm so 3008, you so 2000 and late by Fergie until now. They have extra features on the homepage that just make sense. Douyin features rankings of top accounts by categories, including celebrities, foreign and Chinese companies, and so on, which is a big help for brands looking to work with creators in specific niches. If you're a hot pot company that wants to sponsor someone that eats hot pot, just just head on over to the eating genre. The most popular types of content you'll see on Douyin is educational content, with videos helping to improve skills for personal growth and lifestyle-based tips. I find that there's more niches on Douyin that are easily searchable instead of scrolling until you find something you like. I think I remember seeing a genre of content that was just called shouting. I'm sure you've noticed the migration of trends that get popular on Douyin first, then make its way over to TikTok months or years later. Douyin makeup, cool transitions, even viral videos that are completely in Mandarin. I've been getting these videos on TikTok where they're just people speaking Mandarin and they're just mad. Like I, I think there's a new trend coming in and they've just been pushing it. It's like people just speaking Mandarin going crazy on the microphone. I now know how Facebook bums feel when outdated memes show up on their timeline and they think it's new. You know what, Barbara Ann, 55 female from my old retail job? I will read that rage comic you sent me last week. Damn, way back mm. in 2004? Yeah. That was unironically kind of funny. But the most fascinating thing about Douyin is the e-commerce live streaming scene. Compared to TikTok, <laughs> it's in a completely different realm. We're on baby mode over here, while they're actually living in 3008 with Fergie. It's like realizing the final boss has five other forms after spending a week beating the first one. They even have a different name for celebrity influencers. K.O.L. A key opinion leader who have strong influencing power on the buying behavior of their social media followers and others. A taste maker if you will, they shape opinions, start trends, and have a connection with their followers that's more like a friendship than a fandom. They and the, the thing is that this is why I talked about earlier how annoying it is when VTubers talk about politics or like share their opinion about these things. Because like a VTuber is a derivative from uh, idol culture and they have a lot of parasocial viewers and they pretend like many people like uh, like have this kind of focus that where they're like friends with many of their viewers so the viewers will take their opinion at a grand value and also many times whenever you watch a content creator a lot of people tend to shift their opinion around that content creator so whenever they start sharing these wild opinions other people watching them will also have these wild opinions of them as your brand. Hi, Sakura. Hi, it is. Kind of sounds like a very social, uh, yeah, you are. relationship with a 
famous person. Now, mm. key opinion leader. Well, that just sounds badass compared to influencer. Ew. Balenciaga. It's like necessarily complicated job titles. There's not a thing. I don't think there's any like clothing brand that is not like has some fucked up story. That make you seem way more important than you They're are. They're all like evil. Like Matt Pillar from Corporate. Marketing profit of Overlord Nourishment I get my opinion from Addy. Someone yeah, can... yeah. Listen to my opinion. If I have a political opinion, uh, you listen to it and it turns to your opinion. An eye on him. For Asian audiences, oh God, the opinions so of KOLs and celebrities tend to hold more weight than Worst ones? influencers yeah, on be. TikTok. Especially know. if you have a great reputation and a really strong brand image. There's a history of Asian celebrities selling out items by casually mentioning them. Like when Jungkook from BTS mentioned to a fan on a fan cafe that he liked using downy fabric softener. Next thing you know, there's a temporary shortage of ultra downy infusions. And, and this is the power of influencers and VTubers and K-pop artists and just idols in general uh, influencers don't really have uh, that kind of that much power there's some of them do but people the uh, vtubers and the people idols have the biggest power on this kind of metric because anything they say will change any people's personality blossom bouquet ombre Super or boss is still safe, right? Yeah, with their, all those beautiful after being released. outfits they made in 1942 uh, or whatever. And whatever these they were made not it. cheap items like laundry detergent. Doyen has a way better Did it make them 1939 or 1940? Like, Compared the, I don't to TikTok know. and Instagram, who have both faced a lot of pushback from users when trying to introduce dedicated shopping tabs. Ah, which okay, as of okay, now, Instagram is completely removed. I kind of get it though. The vibes are definitely going to be off when you have to answer this question. Hey, we're checking your washer and dryer. It's really nice. Oh, that little thing? I ordered from TikTok a few months ago. What? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. TikTok? Like the app where people post dancing videos? I know, crazy, right? And this is the thing that China is actually in the future. I think nowadays people are more and more subtle and they're more e easygoing when it comes to um, ads from the YouTubers and streamers than in the past. If you did this in like 2014, people would call you sellout. People would be mad and angry. Now it's completely normal and people are like, let's go get the bag. And I think the more this pushes, you're gonna see more and more of these sellout streams where like people are selling products on stream. This is gonna become a thing in the, this is gonna become a thing in the West uh, as it is in China, just eventually. Anyways, I ordered steaks for tonight. From Instagram. The combination And I bet it's gonna be about makeup and clothing. Just you wait. There's gonna be soon like TikToks, Twitter accounts, Twitch accounts, streaming and showing like piece of clothing and presenting it and selling it. And the, and also makeup. There's gonna be these things are gonna start eventually. Short form content, advanced live streaming tools, and a reputable platform that lets you buy things. Would yell sell out got older? Yeah, that that it's not only about the getting older, it's kinda gotten obnoxious and annoying. Like, also, it's stupid to think that the content creators that are spending a lot of time and putting money into things are not going to get paid in a sort of way. Like, the more money they have, the more they can take care of them, like, the more they can invest the content and time into it, which is the free content you don't have to pay for. So you just watch this, like, you don't even need to interact with ads. You just, it's just there, you know? If you want to interact with it, you can interact with it. So it's like... I think people got a little bit more understanding of it that it's kind of stupid to be mad about it as well. App with just three taps. Becoming a popular e-commerce business by live streaming is normalized in China. There are even entire floors dedicated to having Yeah, this is the thing. They have like, they rent out studios to have like spit little spots like it's an office worker place. And all they're doing is having their own live stream and advertising stuff. Multiple streams and eating and the same time it's, by it's crazy employees. that person that looks like it's just crazy chilling in their room on a friday night might actually be in a factory with an entire team behind them bro imagine this imagine what the fuck is this holy this is crazy this is our future this is the future at this point the market's already saturated yes. people have to come up with some interesting tactics to stand up from the crowd you ever get really hungry while scrolling when someone appears on your timeline and starts eating i get that all the time when it's 
3 a.m. in Korea, and I wake up severely dehydrated. If you come across a live stream of someone cooking up a storm, there's a chance you can order the food on the screen and get the only food tw TikToks I get on my um on my TikTok is like Indian food. And it's always something stupid. It's not like actual Indian food. It's like some Indian street food and they're doing something really weird. It delivered right to your door. So in that's now crazy. Has its own e -commerce assistant. Wait, so that's genius. Buy things in it without jumping Wait, that's so smart. Things. We are now in terminal of live stream. Oh, it's looking So yeah. So they advert, they are making food and you can click on the stream and buy what they're making. Oh my Bobby God. Cassie. I want to buy so I can directly order. You can also directly check your delivery information in Douyin. Oh, that's not. That's actually quite ingenious. That when is I genius. Uber eats, I have no idea what my food is going through before it gets to me. Even the people eating in the restaurant don't get to see the food getting prepared this close up. There's also a popular genre of content where people showcase their lives in rural farming areas, where you can tune in and watch them going through their tasks in real time. Someone had a live stream of themselves harvesting bamboo, and I was mesmerized the whole time. Do these chillin'? Yeah, I like also bamboo cutting is very satisfying. Oh, look at that. Like you kind of want to bite into Hannah's it. This might be onto something. That giant bamboo stalk looks delicious Maybe it I'll does one later to chew on they even got their own versions of mm, ice cream so good oh no form. can you imagine your day after working like that like the npc live streams like i i don't understand dude i'd rather do any job in the world than doing that like it's i don't know i actually don't know what's happening here but the vibes are good. This is a popular live stream that made its way over to TikTok, where an overbearing boss would watch her employees test product in real time. And by watch, I literally mean watch them five inches away from their face, what like the they're a JoJo stand. How about you do the job with them? Is this, is you stand there and look at them? What even is the job? You're shoving, what? But y'all can't even see. I don't even understand what the fuck she's doing. She's just shoving it in. Like, look at it. What kind of job is this? Huh? This is how middle-aged assistant managers named Linda be micromanaging you at Old Navy. I also just noticed the male I, employee. I don't understand. I... I don't get it. <laughs> managing you at Old Navy. I also just noticed the male employee in the back. Either he needs to watch some more training videos or quality Bro, testing dead. USB silicone lamps is not the career path for him. I remember making this case when slept. my parents caught me doing something bad. Turns out this is a live stream to promote this silicone USB lamp under the guise of a day in the life of a factory worker stream. The overall concept is very creative and actually pretty funny when you think about how absurd it is. Nothing like being a slave to our corporate overlords how relatable but wait this thing kind of looks useful and you do get a lot of engagement during these live streams which leads to more views and people checking out the product as a result so why do you see so many weird ideas for live streams on Douyin? it has to do with chinese audiences not wanting to be served content that is clearly an ad instead of watching an influencer shove a product in your face selling it to you in heavy influencer mm. accent Douyin live streams have dynamic plots art direction, and even set design. I'd rather watch someone creatively sell me an umbrella using no words than from an influencer who lives in LA where it only rains five times a year. Yes. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, okay. You know, I, I'm sold. I want that one. And that's all you need to do to sell a product show that it's perfect 
It's currently summer and I already have one, but I need 10 of those specific umbrellas in my house right now. The absolute worst mistake on Douyin would be to post anything resembling a traditional advertisement. Don't attempt to give your influencers a script. Influencer marketing at its heart is like storytelling. You need to give your influencers enough flexibility to tell your story to their fans in a way that keeps them authentic. The influencer's followers will instantly know if the videos promoting your products are made in a different style to the influencer's usual videos. That's why dedicated brand content tends to underperform. It's something I've noticed as a viewer and as a content creator who's done it myself. Douyin gives you more flexibility where you can actually mention more than one product at a time. For example, this girl's vlog, she simply just log a day in her life and she spent more time to describe this product and this product in her video. Like maybe 10 to 20 more seconds than other products she's using. And you know what? It's very natural. You don't feel like they are trying to sell it to you so hard. You feel like this just in bed with the video. You pay more attention to those products more than other products. It brings huge sales on Douyin. It does bring into question if ads are being properly disclosed here, but there is a difference from influencers getting paid to promote something and not disclosing it, compared to a company hiring their own employees to make content to sell their products. I, I think. There was a really funny instance during a live stream where a girl was trying to sell lashes by putting them on, but the audience was feeling kind of silly and goofy, so they sent her gifts that would cover her eyes, which made for some really funny reactions. <laughs> these creative types of live streams really give the audience a sense of involvement while watching. Yeah, these people are. I think to sell viewers would love that. If you have a streamer trying to show a product and sell it, and the audience have the possibility to pay to make that stream more like to hide the advertisement and make it stupid. I think any any viewer would love to do that. I think that's genius. Tell you things, but at least it's entertaining. You know those TikTok yeah. lives of people it's doing a good scoop stream. content where you pay for a mystery bag of scoops any, from any, an assortment of random items. Any like viewer engagement like that is really good. Candy, makeup, toys, stickers, etc. Well, oh my what God. about having so much product that you're able to sit in it and do your scooping from there? <laughs> What the fuck is okay, this? the lower half of her body better be covered in full PPE or saran wrapped, or she's at least wearing those see through JYP plastic pants. I don't want someone's legs touching my food. Oh, and if you're gonna sell me a teapot, you better you, make G. sure it's waterproof on the outside. <laughs> At this point, Douyin live streams are already moving on to the next stage of evolution. AI influencers are being created to host these e-commerce live streams that can last for days. You know, since they don't need to eat and rest like I humans think this do. Is terrifying. Isn't that concerning? Goddamn AI aliens crossing our borders, taking all our jobs. Hell this yeah, country's brother. gonna sh** it ever since scandal stopped, Aaron. Y'all need a go- That's crazy. Wait, so they have like all of these, this, they just have this whole office filled with AI streamers. Oh my God. That's kind of, that's kind of horrifying. That's like, damn, that's some crazy shit. Go back shit. to where you came from. Build the firewall 2026. Oh my I God. I guess what I'm trying to say is. I can't tell Hello. if we're evolving or regressing as a society. Do I want a fake futuristic anime mom selling me bidets pretending yes. to be human? Or do I want someone with dead eyes and influencer accent selling me mascara? The old fashioned that one. Eh, the only time will one. tell, I guess. At least mascara. we have options, just like how you can make the choice to feed the algorithm by liking this video. Let's me know you enjoyed the content. Let's keep this thing happy and appeased for now. You never know what these machines are thinking. Once the algorithm becomes sentient and starts live streaming on its own, it's kind of over for the rest of us human creators. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and see you in the next one. And thanks again to Scentbird. Use Advasion 55 off to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird.
Yeah, I think that China is just like ahead of the time when it comes to well, this uh, live stream advertisement. Eventually, like people are going to be bored. People are already tired of looking at ads whenever you are watching YouTube or whenever you're watching Twitch or Twitter. They all ignore them. They don't give a fuck. But if you make a live stream that is advertising and it captures the viewers that's a way, different way of selling a product because then you're making them interested and invested and i think that these kind of live streams are eventually going to come to the west eventually eventually but let's see how it goes if you watch this on youtube and you enjoy this video make sure you click the like button also sub to the channel if you enjoy these reacts if you want to come yap with us live and join us live feel free to come by my twitch channel on twitch.tv slash i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time